Good morning, FHS. I'm Joseph Basso, and this is FHS Weekly. Let's get started on how you can get involved this week. The Champions Together Club is hosting a dine and donate at City Barbecue on Thursday, November 7th, from 10.30 a.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. The barcode for the fundraiser can be found on the flyers in the Dean's Hallway. Proceeds will benefit various Fishers Unified Sports, so make sure to participate. Join us this Thursday after eSports Club meeting for a pizza and conversation. All are welcome, and pizza is provided by crew. And coming up, we have Mallory with our featured news. Stay tuned. I'm Mallory Rowan. Today for featured announcements, we have Alexis here with us today for an interview discussing the International Fair and looking for volunteers. Alexis, could you tell us more about the fair? Yeah, of course. So this International Fair, if you don't know what it is, it's just basically spreading your culture or your country that you would like to represent, um, either with food, games, um, any music, any types of facts that you want to share with others. So this event, I would really like and appreciate if I could get volunteers for this event. Um, you would obviously get your hours, so you have your service hours for whatever club it's for or whatever reason. Um, you would get up to two, three hours, depending on what you help with. When and where is the fair taking place? So the fair is taking place at Clear Vista Lake Health Campus, which is um, a nursing home and rehab place um, and residency for the elderly. Um, it's located off of 82nd exit, but you take a left instead of taking a right to Castleton Mall. Um, it's on November 15th. Um, which is a Friday from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Are you going to be representing a country at the fair? Yes. Um, for me, I'm representing the Philippines alongside with my family and my other siblings. So we're going to be bringing in all sorts of foods, um, any facts that we want to share, of course, and possibly music. Is there any other information that you would like to share? Any of those who just want to come and visit, like any staff member, family, friends that you share this to. Um, the entry fee is just $3 because we have food um, and you're just sampling and tasting everything. So $3 for all access. Nice. If you're looking for more information, you can check our social media page. Hi, my name is Emily Legg and I play the role of Emily Webb. I'll choose the day that I first knew I loved George. No, choose an unimportant day. Choose the least important day of your life. It will be important enough. I think that they chose a really great show to do in the black box because it's so thought provoking and it really creates an intimate environment with the audience which you wouldn't get in the auditorium. So the auditorium right now is being renovated. Uh, we're getting new lights, new sound, um, and new monitors to set up so we can see what's going on in the house. And that means that right now the play has to be in the black box which has many benefits and also is kind of challenging as well. And all of like the actual seats are like right up against the stage, so there's a nice little kind of personal feel with it, with, compared to the auditorium where there's these just massive stage and there's so much space. The direction styles between Colby and Nickel, um, they both have their vision, but I feel like Nickel was a little bit more generous in our performances. Like with Colby, he was very dead set on what he wanted and he didn't really move much around that. With Nicole, I think she's a little bit more generous with like characters and actors making their own decisions. Hey there, Fishers Tigers. Welcome back to Tiger Talk, the segment of the show where we talk about topical topics at a table. My name is Joseph Heemster, and joining me today, we have some very special guests. We have Bertie, Anna, and Paulina, who are from the German Exchange School in Germany. Um, so you guys are obviously not from Fishers. As I said, you're from Germany. Um, and I think you've mentioned it before, but where exactly in Germany are you from? Uh, we are from the northern part of Germany. OK, so just like northern Germany? Yeah. OK, cool. Um, so, how long have you been in the United States? Um, so, now it's about two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks? Okay. So, so, hopefully you've gotten a little bit of a sense of like how, you know, how things are like over here and kind of our culture and everything. What are some of like the, the biggest differences that you've seen to, so far? Like, what do you think of, Ameri of America so far? In America, it's everything bigger, like the streets, the cars, mm -hmm. supermarket, what you can buy, everything is just bigger. Interesting. 
Yeah, and the people are very friendly, so they even if they don't know you, they uh, start to talk with you mm. and all that stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And I think America has also much of many fast food restaurants, and mm -hmm. um, there's also there are also cool sports here like basketball, baseball, American football. Huh. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we we do love our sports. Yes. Yeah. For sure. Um, and I'm glad to hear that you th that we're like kind because I feel like Americans kind of have this stereotype that we're like loud and rude and obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, but also like, friendly. Yeah, okay, that's good to hear. Um, and then also like with the fast food and stuff, like me personally, one of my favorite parts about like learning about other like cultures and other countries and stuff is food because I'm a big food person. I love food. So, yeah. um, so you said like the fast food's different. Oh uh, yes. So we don't have. Um, so many different fast food restaurants in mm -hmm. Germany. We only have McDonald's and Burger King, huh. but here you also have Calvas or Chick Fil A mm -hmm. or yeah. Patios or something yeah. like this. And I really like those. Huh. Interesting. And they are better, I think, than our Germany yes. mm -hmm. fast food. Huh. Interesting. Um, have you now? I know that we have a few like German foods over here in America. Um, like, I don't know, like sauerkraut, like a Reuben yeah. uh, sandwich. I don't know, have you tried any of those here? Do they like, do they have those in Germany? Yes, like, I have how do tried. They uh, and it was, it tastes good, yeah. Tastes good? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. I tried German bratwurst and mm -hmm. it was pretty like home feeling. Okay, it's yeah. very cool. Have you tried any? Uh, no. Not no? Really. <laughs> no. <laughs> no? Well, you know, trying stuff stuff that's new, you know, yeah. doesn't, doesn't hurt. Um, so going back a little bit towards like the school aspect of stuff, like how is school in the U.S. Di like different from school in Germany? Uh, for example, the um, teachers have their own room here, mm -hmm. so the students have to change the rooms, and in Germany it's the other way around. Huh, yeah. So you have different teachers coming to like the same room. Uh, so the the students have their own classroom, yeah. and the teachers change the different rooms. Interesting. Yeah. So I I am the student president at my school, okay. so I talk with your student presidents or your student government, mm -hmm. and it's a bit different. So we have in Germany the actual chance to mm -hmm. change the student law, even for the state, mm -hmm. and here it's much more about like doing events, changing the school outfit, something like that. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty different. Huh. Very interesting. Yes, and also the school here in Fishers is much bigger than ours, because ours has about 400 students and this year has about 3,700 3, students mm -hmm. and so that's a big difference and also your school has sports school teams and we don't have those. Oh, very yeah. interesting. Very cool. That's very interesting. Um, you know some things I think can kind of transcend cultures like it's the stuff that we can all appreciate right like music is one, art is another, um, but obviously the biggest one is Harry Potter. Nice. <laughs> And we actually have Adriana, who has prepared some Harry Potter trivia questions for the four of us to answer to see who here knows the most about Harry Potter. So I think we have some whiteboards and markers that we're going to pass out. Yeah, Sophia, can you grab those? <laughs> did, we, did we forget about those? <laughs> we thought we were going to... Just pass them out. All right, so we have our whiteboards and markers. Are the markers not working? <laughs> You guys, yeah. you know the first answer! Yay! <laughs> okay, we all have whiteboards and markers. After some slight technical difficulties, we're blaming the Dementors for those, but we're ready to get into the trivia questions. Adriana, take it away. All right, what house at Hogwarts does Harry belong to? A, Gryffindor, B, Hufflepuff, C, Ravenclaw, or D, Slytherin? Great. Right. you guys answer. have it? Three, two, one. Gryffindor. A, <laughs> but, hey, but yeah. yeah. Okay. Put a tally on your boards if you get it correct, so okay. we know. All right. What position does Harry play on his Quidditch team? A, bludger, B, chaser, C, seeker, or D, keeper? Go. Three, two, one, go. The correct answer is C, seeker. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
What does the sorcerer's stone do? A, transform the one who holds it into an animal. B, makes the one that holds it invisible. C, transforms any metal into gold and produces the elixir of life. Or D, tells the one that holds it their future. Okay. Three, two, one. That one. Yeah, C. Good job. <laughs> you guys don't have to write out the phone. <laughs> Joe Yeah. <laughs> what is the original name of the first Harry Potter book? A, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. B, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. C, Harry Potter and the Dragon's Fire. Or D, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is a tricky question, Adriana. <laughs> Three. I don't Two. We might not be friends after this. <laughs> One, go. <laughs> it's B. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Whew. And this is, this is the last question. Didn't they change that for like the American version? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. that? Okay. Fun fact. They're like, Americans don't know yeah. what a philosopher is. They're too stupid for that. <laughs> we don't think. What? Which character became the, a professional Quidditch player? A, Ron. B, Hermione. C, Harry. Or D, Jenny. Oh. <laughs> uh... Do you want me to read the answers again? Yes, yeah. please. All right. A, Ron, B, Hermione, C, Harry, and D, Jenny. Are you guys ready? Is this from like the newer ones? Like the Three, okay. <laughs> two, one. It's Jenny. Oh, wow. Jenny. Oh. Jenny. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Who won? Tally up your scores. Five. I have four. <laughs> Three. One. Big one. Solid. Solid. Wait, who won? Did you get five? Yes. You won all of them correct? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Man, I came into this thinking I was gonna, like, kill it, but... Guess you didn't. Uh, was that last one from the, uh, the Cursed Child? I don't know, I found or it on the yes. new one. I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I haven't I haven't read or seen that, so oh, no. I guess that's that would be why. Yeah. But uh yeah, hopefully we've had some fun learning about uh, Germany a little bit and learning about some of the differences. But uh, that's all the time we have for this week, Tigers. We'll see you next week. Welcome back, Tigers. Moving on with guidance. IUPUI is hosting their Spanish campus tours this year for all interested students and families. The next campus tour in Spanish will be on Saturday, November 16th at 10.30 a.m. The event is free and includes breakfast and snacks. Take a campus walking tour, including the Multicultural Center. Learn about admissions, academics, and the diversity, enrichment, and achievement program. Register online at the link on our announcements page. Manchester University is offering a pharmacy camp next summer, July 7th to July 10th, for any sophomores and juniors interested in learning more about a career in pharmaceuticals. Participate in hands-on pharmacy skills, team-building exercises, and visits to various pharmacy settings. Learn more at www.manchester.edu forward slash pharmacy camp. Online registration opens in January. And coming up, we have Sophia Solis with our fun announcements and clubs. Stay tuned. Hey Tigers, Sophia Solis here with my favorite scrunchie. I've got some spectacular announcements in store for you today. Come see the Theater Fisher's production of Our Town on November 7th through 9th. Performances are at 7 p.m. each day along with 2.30 on the 9th. Tickets are $5 for students and $7 for adults and are available online or at the door. Seating is limited. Come see Miss Nickel in the Black Box with any questions you might have. Hey, check it out. I recently just launched my YouTube channel, Iconically Her. I'll be uploading some of my work that you'll see here on announcements and some other exciting gems that you'll only be able to see if you subscribe. Message me on Instagram at IconicallyHurt if you have any video ideas or requests. 
We have a very special birthday shout out that goes to none other than me. Tomorrow is my birthday, Tigers. If you see me in the hallway, come wish me a sweet 17th and you just might receive a complimentary birthday cookie in return. Well, I've got to go shopping for a new velvet scrunchie. See you next time, Tigers. Stay fabsome.